Hello again everyone and welcome back aboard Felicity, November 8033 Foxtrot, a Cessna flight training device that I built at home. We are on the ramp here in uh, California over at Santa Barbara and we are going for our CAT-8 rating in the Pilot Edge Network, essentially involving um, a VFR flight from a Class Charlie to a Class Charlie. Uh, flight following will be at our discretion. I did take a look at the airspace, nothing too real complicated. Directly out of the Santa Barbara, we are going to have a, uh, um, <coughs> a shelf of 1,500 feet to 4,000 feet, and obviously was, we will still be under approach at that point. And then once clear of the Charlie, um, there's a couple class deltas to the south, but nothing too real major. Um, I mean we could even go direct if we needed to. Use this uh, smaller class delta there. Um, so that's what we're going to go for. Um, and if we're time permitting, we're also going to go for 9 as well, a cat 9 rating. But uh, we'll see about that one. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get things going here. We had a very busy weekend at uh, Oshkosh with SimVenture 2022. Um, it's an absolute uh, blast for me. I, I flew it as much as I uh, I could um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But it, w it was a great learning experience. I had a lot of fun. Um, <coughs> hopefully, if uh, hopefully some of you that flew along had some fun as well. Need to kind of reorganize here. I kind of consolidated everything for Oshkosh. Before we get too much further, I just want to go ahead and grab some frequencies before we even get started up. Uh, ATIS at Santa Barbara is going to be 132.65. which we'll listen to first. We're going to jot down clearance. Um, we're either, we're either going to talk to clearance or ground. I'm not sure just yet until we listen to the ATIS, but we'll write that frequency down. We'll, we'll clearance deliveries, 132.9, and then ground, 121.7, tower, 119.7, which is also going to be Unicom. And we are going to be departing east, so if we're heading east at like a zero, um, one zero zero heading, where this is going to put us, Santa Barbara departure one two five point four. And that may change depending on what ATIS tells us, if, you know, if we, um, as well, or what uh, clearance may tell us, or ground, one or the other. And I don't think I'll graph light following. I might. If I do, we will do that before we even take off. And we are flying east to Burbank, Bob Hope. And Kilo, Bravo, Uniform, Romeo. And 
Its ages is um one three four point five. Its clearance delivery is one one eight point nine. -er. Ground is one two three point nine. -er. Tower at one one eight point seven. Open twenty four seven. Jot down the correct SoCal approach here. Gosh, there's so many. So here's what I'm gonna do before I get ahead of myself and try to assume something that I probably don't know is I'm gonna jump right over to the uh, Cat 8. Um, page on Pilot Edge and take a quick brief look at that just to see if it answers my because what I'm looking at is you know if I'm going direct yeah, it's telling me to contact approach on 120.4 up here down here 134.2 it's kind of in the middle and I'm sure there's a, a differentiation that's supposed to happen there so let me go and see if I can find that We're in our cat 8 rating. And I read this like a week ago. And then I had Oshkosh. And probably forgot most of what I read. So around 20 miles from the airport prior to entering the trial airspace, contact the approach control on the frequency listed on your VFR chart. Understood. Hey Hawker, how are you doing this evening? I'm trying to differentiate here. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it like this. Once I'm clear of this, Charlie. I wonder if I can grab this um, this flyway here, and then that'll kind of put me. If I go direct to this VOR, the Fillmore VOR, then I know without a doubt that I can contact SoCal Approach right there at one two zero point four, and then that will give me also a good reference point to tell them so many miles from. Oh, film more VOR. So let me go ahead and grab that while I'm here too. Film more, it's FIM, which I would have assumed would be FIL. So that's the film more VOR. Hawker, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And flying with Mike. Thanks for the raid, buddy. Much appreciated. And welcome aboard, Raiders. Welcome aboard, Mike. Um, doing some some kind of last minute pre flight. Uh, prepping for our Cat 8 on the Pilot Edge Network. Trying to determine my best VFR route um, to get there. Uh, the, the question I was kind of having for myself is when I was going direct it was almost kind of putting me between this white box here which said contact so call approach on this frequency and this white box here so I wasn't exactly sure being right in the middle which one I was going to contact um, 
So I decided that I'm just going to proceed direct to this VOR. Definitely need a new iPad. This thing's so outdated. So that being said, if I go direct to that VOR, and then if I grab that 087 radio outbound, I know that I can contact approach on 120.4. That might alleviate some confusion on my end, because I, I honestly don't know the answer. Remember, I am just a student pilot without a CFI, kind of learning as I go. Um, so if, I'm s if, if direct puts me right in between that airspace, logic tells me to proceed to a VFR waypoint. <laughs> like that VOR there. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we got all of our ADIS clearance, delivery, ground, tower, departure, and what? approach did we decide we were going to use there? SoCal approach 120.4 Alright, I think we got enough to do it. I think we, I think we can do this. Alright, um, I did go ahead and uh, fill us up. We got about a uh, about four, uh, about five and a half hours of fuel on board. Both wings are almost fully fueled, and I got you, me, and some baggage in the rear. Um, so our walk around the exterior has already been completed. Passenger brief: We are in the Cat 8 rating, going from Santa Barbara to Burbank, California. Tech time. 45.7. We put a lot of hours on in Oshkosh. Speaking of, since I didn't write all the Hobbs time town, I did just want to take a look at that real quick. Long book. We got about nine hours on the hop on over the course of Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm. Alright, four five point seven is our attack time. Alternate static is off. I just turned the carpet off, so apparently I must have left that on on my last landing and missed that in my checklist during shutdown. Alright, let's move right along to our start checklist here. Seat track, let's go ahead and get scooted up here so I can reach the rudders. Flight controls. Okay, that feels good there. I think I'm about due for a new knee board too. Alright. Avionics are off, our autopilot is off. Car Pete, we just turned off. 
not going to worry about the fuel pump right now. Next year we are going to go full rich. And prop is already high. Throttle is slight. Uh, we are cold, so we'll go ahead and prime it. Yeah. One. Two. Alright. Three. Primer is in unlocked. Brakes are on, here we go. Master's on. Beacon on. Clear prop. Looks clear in the left. Looks clear in the right. Nobody directly in front of us. And I did make sure there was nobody behind us. Let's go ahead and start up. Mags. Okay. We do have engine rotation. Our oil pressure is in the green. We're going to wait here for a few minutes, wait for oil temperature to come up. Let's go ahead and turn our avionics on. And get some weather. 132.65. Before we do that, we are going to need to go ahead and connect it to our Pilot Edge network. Connected to Pilot Edge. Before I even do that and grab the weather, let's just go ahead and file that VFR flight plan on Pilot Edge. We have VFR November 80333 Foxtrot. Type 172 today. We're in the 172 November slant golf. Uh, airspeed, I'm going to guess 110. Cruising altitude, we, did we even decide on a cruising altitude? Uh, east is least, west is best. That's going to give us odd numbers plus 500. Uh, we know already we've got the drain at 4864 there. Uh, looks like about 6700 is going to be um, mean altitude across that whole tile. So let's just go 7500, play it safe. That gives us. Every bit of 800 feet of the highest obstacle in that square there. That'll work. And then we can plan a descent as we get closer to Burbank. Let's go to 7500. Hmm. Not going to do an alternate. Uh, route F light, we're gonna go uh, VFR and then. Uh, actually, how, how do I want to say it? What? Alright, so we'll just, we'll just go to more. We are not using custom weather. We have Active Sky enabled right now. We are using our real world weather. Pilot Edge rating flight. We have two ratings left today. We can go for the Cat 8. And we have filed. We did connect with the same uh, call sign. So we should be good to go. Now, let's go ahead and grab that ATIS information which was on 132.65 Santa Barbara Municipal Airport 
Atis Information Romeo, 2253 Zulu, wind 210 at 7, visibility 10, sky condition, clear, temperature 23, dew point 17, altimeter 29 or 9 or 6, arriving and departing runways 25, 158, 15 left, visual approaches in use, VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advice on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information Romeo. Alright, Romeo is current. Santa Barbara Municipal Airport, ATIS information Romeo, 2253 Zulu, wind 210 at 7, visibility 10, sky condition, clear. Temperature 23, dew point 17, altimeter 29 or 9 or 6, arriving and departing runways 25, 158, 15 left. Visual approaches in use. VFR departures contact clearance delivery, advice on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information Romeo. Alright. You get all that? I got all that. Let's turn our transponder on, squawk VFR. Um, so we are gonna contact clearance delivery. Now, I, I, I can't I can't express how happy I am at this point right now because this is what I'm used to. I'm used to contacting and and, and informing them uh, my departure in degrees. That that that's what I'm used to doing, that's how I was taught out at Ohio State. Um, they, they, they don't necessarily care where you're going. They do want to know what direction you're heading. Uh, and Skyhawk 8033 Fox Trail, ready to taxi VFR, departing 090 degrees. That's all they want to know. Uh, so, I am kind of kind of happy about that. So, and, and <laughs> I said 090, but that's not far off from, from the direction we're going to be going to. 090 degrees is going to be our departing heading, and uh, we can intercept this uh, radio to the Fillmore VOR. Alright, so 097, okay. So, Romeo is current. And 2515 right and left. Do we want to grab a VFR flight following? We probably ought to. We may as well. It's a free service that they offer. Um, I say that kind of sparingly. That's what we'll do. We'll just grab, we'll just request flight following here on the ground. So when I contact clearance delivery, what am I going to tell them? Um, type 172, slant golf. Or VFR. Departing. And I guess. We'll just say, what's that going to be, 075 degrees? We'll, ju we'll just make it easy, 090 degrees. So, so we're VFR departing 090 degrees. Direct to Burbank. 7500 requesting flight following with Romeo so that's what we're gonna um, tell clearance delivery when we contact
is we're type 172, slant golf, VFR, departing 090 degrees, direct to Burbank, uh, 7500 feet, requesting flight following Romeo. I think I got all that. And before we do that, I gotta go check something before we get up in the air. <coughs> My apologies, I will be right back. Parking brake is on, and better to do this now than up in the air. To you, welcome aboard, and thanks for the follow. All right, my oil temperature has come up. We have all of our uh, weather information. Winds are 210 at 17. I am going to go ahead and put the wind direction into my heading bug. And my heading bug here gives me a nice visual indicator and my takeoff roll. And while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and set my heading indicator to compass while I'm at it. Uh, navigator puts us at 327 degrees. Uh, that does confirm with the wet compass, so we will go ahead and put 327-ish in here as well. Open Leroy, thank you sir, appreciate it, coming from you, appreciate it. Guys, check out Melvin Leroy, it's kind of like uh, my entertainment when I'm not flying myself. Really fun to watch, a lot of variety of general aviation type stuff. Another member of the Virtual USA Flying Club, definitely go follow his channel, you won't be disappointed, I guarantee it. Iowa Scotsman, welcome back, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, we did just get our ATIS. We are getting ready to go ahead and contact uh, clearance delivery. Um, before we do that, let's just go ahead and do a quick radio check. Um, one, two, three point four five. I was doing some work on the radios earlier in Plane Maker, so I just want to confirm everything that's working. Um, for, well, 
For the 46 hours I've been flying this model, never once did I realize that ADF-2 was never powered on. So Navigator 2, while it was working as a radio, wasn't working as a uh, navigator for me. Um, <coughs> it's just a matter of tying bus two to b tying tying bus two to bus one and plane maker, and that got it working because I only have one avionics bus here in the uh, virtual cockpit. WestJet, hello, sir. Welcome, buddy. Getting ready to take our Cat Eight rating. One two three point four five. One two three point four five. Come one active. Come two active. Radio, radio test. test. Radio, radio test. test. One, one two. two. All right, our radio does seem to be working. Let's turn come two off. Um. All right, and here's what we're gonna do. We are going to go ahead and put the ADAS for Burnbank and COM2, 132.65, and I'm going to put guard on standby, and monitor guard, or I'm going to put guard on active and monitor guard, um, and then as I get closer, then I can go ahead and just boop, and have the ADIS right there at Burbank. So that's what we're gonna do. That's the plan. Um, remember, we have we're departing zero nine zero degrees. <laughs> I figured that might be a mile for Santa Barbara clearance delivery. And clearance delivery was on 132.9er. While I'm here, I'm going to get ground and stand by. Frequency squawk on that time. Departure frequency 121.7. One squawk 3116. 128.1 squawk 3116. Four golf Bravo. Remember, four golf Bravo, read back, correct. And uh, are you ready for taxi? Yeah, I'm ready for taxi. Number two, four golf Bravo, runway two six right, taxi via kilo. Two six right, taxi via kilo. Four golf Bravo. Santa Barbara clearance delivery, Skyhawk 8033 Foxtrot. Number 8033 Foxtrot, Santa Barbara clearance. On the ramp here at Burbank, looking for VFR clearance, uh, departing 090 degrees. Got Romeo on board, cruising 7,500 feet. We are type 172 slant golf. Direct to Burbank, looking for flight following. Number 8033 Foxtrot on departure, fly. Uh Runway heading, maintain VFR at or below 3,000 until advised. Departure frequency 120.55, squawk 5450. VFR at or below 3,000, departures on 120.55, squawk 5450, and we are looking for a CAT 8 rating on this flight. Skyhawk 8033 Foxtrot. 8033 Foxtrot, is that correct? Oxnard ground, this is Coast Guard 64 sitting at the east ramp, requesting uh, flight to Santa Cruz Island or clearance to Santa Cruz Island with flight following. I have information Foxtrot, equipped with Slant Golf, helicopter type is a Sea King. There's nobody around us, let's do a run up right here. Coast Guard, 60, Coast Guard 64, uh, stand by. Let's go ahead and kind of spin into these winds real quick. Long Beach Tower, uh, Beechcraft 2A4 Golf Bravo, holding short, runway 26 right. Alright, uh, run up checklist. Runway 2A4 Golf Bravo, Long Beach Tower, runway 26 right, quick to take on. 
trim. We are set for takeoff. Take off. Uh, Flight controls off. down on the right, up on the left, down on the left, up on the right. Elevator, rudder, both feel responsive. Okay. Palomar Tower sets in the green. Instruments, nothing on the announcer panel. Everything's in the green. Runway two four. Mixture is full rich. Primer Number is seven three nine air with Fox Foxtrot. Number seven three nine air with Fox Foxtrot. Palomar Tower runway two four. Clear for takeoff. All right, breaks over. Clear for takeoff. Seventeen hundred nine whiskey box. Here we go. Number nine air with Fox Foxtrot. Always read back the runway, please. Runway two four. Clear for takeoff. Runway two four. Clear for takeoff. Thank you. Mac, there's my drop. And your call sign and your call All right, sign. Right, Mag, there's my drop. Side Runway the two four one. Cleared for takeoff. Cessna seven three nine. Whiskey box. Two. Three. Okay. Car heat. There's our drop. All right. Uh, suction's in the green. Coast Guard sixty five. Oil temperature will appear just in the green. Go low. All right. Everything looks good. Right, Let's go ahead. Two sandwiches. Um, island. Um, altitude will be uh, 3,500 so on the way there. Um, Coast Guard 64, Roger. Departure frequency 124.7, squawk 4340. All right, so I got a squawk code, but he never told me to contact the ground. I was ready to taxi. Four and and my this is squawk 4340. Do I just Coast contact ground four. once I get a squawk Coast code? 64, is that correct? Hmm. Number two eight four golf bravo contact departure. Okay, got the clearance. All right, read back correct. We're ready to taxi. All right, so yeah, I don't need to be told to get over the ground. Number two eight four golf bravo contact departure. Contact departure four golf bravo. Yeah. All right. He gave me read back correct. Uh, so I, I can go directly over the ground. I don't need permission for him to go over the ground. November 739 Whiskey Fox Trot, contact departure. Contact departure, right, so that's what we're going to do. Box. We got clearance delivery out of the way. Let's go over the ground. 121.7, which we already have on standby while I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and get tower up there next. Try and stay ahead of the situation. 119.7. Okay. I think we'll be all right. Let's make sure that I got my airport diagram up. And this is something I just learned, um, and I feel kind of foolish having just learned it. And let me just hide this plate, and I'll give you an example here. So before, I would click on the airport, I'd find my airport, might we go into details, and this is a four flight thing. I'll click here on this little map icon, expand it, and send that over to my moving map. Now, I've been doing that for almost two and a half years in here. Little did I know, or li little did I realize, this is a four flight airport diagram. I, I don't want to say it's a carbon copy but it's kind of like a highlighted version, I guess you can say. So, by clicking on the airport, I go into procedure, I've got an FAA airport diagram right there at my fingertips that I can send right over to my map. So much more detail. I can tell ground now that I'm just, you know, south of below Charlie next to helicopter parking. Or just east of helicopter parking off of Charlie. So I just learned that. That's good to know. Um, it's good to know for me because there's, there's transient GA parking. And I think I'm... Uh, I think on some of these I uh, even saw even more specific names. Archer, November seven five one nine or zero. So, all right, we're November seven five one nine or zero, North Las Vegas, France. All right, we're on the ground frequency. Seven five one nine or zero is on the GA GA ramp with information Quebec. Uh, we like to uh, do a few.
circuits in the pattern, then depart VFR to the northwest. November 75190, runway 12 right, taxi via Bravo Alpha. 12 right via Bravo Alpha, 75190. Santa Barbara Ground, Skyhawk 8033 Foxtrot. Remember 8033 Foxtrot, Santa Barbara Ground. Uh, good evening, we are just south of Charlie, east of the helicopter, parking ready to taxi with clearance. Number 8033 Foxtrot, runway 25, taxi via Juliet. 25, runway 25 via Juliet. Number 8033 Foxtrot. Foxtrot ground, this is Coast Guard 64 requesting taxi to the active so runway. And uh, let you know the uh, mission has changed some mark. Subject has been found, but we're going to be medevacking to Santa Barbara at under 1,000 feet due to head injury. 25 via Juliet, and we are here, Coast Charlie. Right, so we're just going to kind of go out Barbara. this private parking spot. We're going to make a left on Charlie, to and Santa immediate Barbara, left yes. on Juliet, which appears to be just west of the helicopter ramps there. Coast Guard 64, runway 25, taxi to Fox, shut off. Runway 25, taxi to Fox, shut off. Looks like that puts us right to the 25 threshold. All right, that'll work out. And then, so on a 2-5, that almost puts, puts us on our departure heading. Um, so that ought to work out just fine. Right. Am I missing anything on my checklist before we actually go to take off? Uh, we got our taxi clearance, so uh, we already did our run up. I think we're ready to go once we get there. Uh, I did go ahead and get tower on standby. Uh, Alright, parking brake off. Seatbelt going on. Oxford Tower, this is Coast Guard 64, holding short runway 25. Requesting clearance for takeoff. Coast Guard 64, Oxford Tower, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Coast Guard 64. Coast Guard 64, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Runway 25, cleared for takeoff, Coast Guard 64. Let's go ahead and turn our landing light on. Uh, for safety, it is getting to be a little bit uh, darker. I may have to roll back the clock and give us some more daylight VFR. Alright, this is Juliet. We'll make it left here. What am I missing? I, did I miss anything? Altimeter. Did I set my altimeter? I did not. I'm still. Two nine or nine oh six field elevation. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Alright, let's go ahead and get a uh, switched over the tower. Uh, how was the ATC coverage on Pilot Edge? Um, well, I'll be forthcoming and say that traditionally Pilot Edge was never a thing for me because they primarily cover the West Coast and I live on the East Coast where majority of my flying is done. Um, Coast Guard 64, contact departure. Contact departure on 124.7, Coast Guard 64. Stand by. Let me, let me get up in the air and I'll, I'll recharge base back on that. Alright, I'm assuming this flashy light here is going to be our hold short line. 
Uh, yep, because there's a uh, there's a taxiway I'm crossing, not a runway. All right, there's 25 Juliet. Let's get tower. One one nine point seven. That is what we wrote down. Santa Barbara Tower, November eight zero three three Fox Foxtrot, holding short one way two five. Ready. Number eight zero three three Fox Foxtrot, Santa Barbara Tower, runway two five. Quick for takeoff. Runway two five, clear for takeoff. November eight zero three three Foxtrot. Uh, radio tip, one of my viewers told me and pointed out to me. Um, I, was, I, I previously was saying Cessna November 8033 Foxtrot. Uh, it could be one or the other. Cessna 8033 Foxtrot, November 8033 Foxtrot, or Skyhawk 8033 Foxtrot. In manufacturer or model. Alright, stand by. Yeah, we are on center line. Right rudder, hold center, full power. Small well, Vegas Tower, November 25100, holding short, runway 12 right. Alright, airspeed comes alive at 60, we're almost there. Let's go ahead and right rotate. Traffic, runway 12 right, quick to take off, report midfield downline. A little East bit traffic. of a crosswind there. Right close, traffic report will go on midfield, clear for takeoff, runway 12 right, 75190. Yeah, my entire expert, A42 to the bottom of the approach. Over A4, T-Delta Papa, fly the missed approach is published. Published minus T-Delta Papa. Over A4, T-Delta Papa, contact, hook up departure, 119.6. One departure, thank you very much, T-Delta. Alright, there's our 700 feet. Let's go ahead and make a 45 degree out of here to the left. Um, hope to the left. Number 0033 Foxtrot, radar contact, contact departure. Over to departure, 033 Foxtrot. And Approaching the Palomar. We can get the ILS to avoid that important for us. Thank you much to the Palomar. November 824, Delta Papa Rogers, clear to the Palomar Airport via uh, fly heading 300 and maintain 4000. Be effective for the ILS. Clear to my Palomar, fly heading 300 and maintain 4000. Vector for ILS. Thank you much to the Palomar. Santa Barbara departure, Skyhawk 8033, Foxtrot, 2700, climbing 7500. 8033, Foxtrot, Santa Barbara departure, Roger. Uh, the departure instruction should have been fly runway heading and maintain VFR at or below 3000. Looks like you turned on course there. Unable to score you for the Cat 8, but you can resume own navigation now and uh, cancel the altitude restriction. We'll go 0033 Foxtrot. Did he tell me to fly runway heading? So call approach, Kodiak 340 Papa Alpha. 340 Papa Alpha, so call approach. 340 Papa Alpha is about 10 miles east of Catalina, 5500 VFR. We request flight following where Kodiak 100 will be landing full stop at uh, uh, Lindbergh Field. Kodiak 340, Papa Alpha, Alpha, Squawk 2667. 2667 for 340, Papa Alpha, Alpha. I know he, he, I know it was at or below 3000. I do not remember that fly runway heading instruction. 
If that was the case, then that is why I failed my Cat 8. For 739, Whiskey Fox, just took a couple approach. Just want to make sure you're in the, the climb to 6,000, correct? Climb to 6,000, 739, Whiskey Fox. 430 Papa Alpha. It's radar contact. One four miles east of well, Santa we're, Catalina. We're just going to try that one again. The uh, San Diego information whiskey current altimeter 2988. Right, he did say fly runway. Right for whiskey 2988 for 340 Papa Alpha. Alright. Then yes, that is why I failed my cut eight. Because I turned on course too soon. So let's try it again. I mean, I can do two per day, so what, what, am I, what my understanding is. But I didn't read anything that said I couldn't try consecutively back to back. You got a pop of lighting, 270 intercept the localizer. That's 270 intercept localizer, get a pop So what we're going to do is we're just going to get out of this class, Charlie, and we'll turn right back around, and we'll come back in the land, and we'll try it again. November 2 Delta Papa is 4 miles from Escon, descent of maintain 3,600 until established on a localizer, quit ILS for my 2-4 approach. Virtual flu fuel is cheap anyway. Five miles right. from Escon, we can try again without a waiting period. I'll just stand it. That's exactly what we're going to do. November 2 Delta Papa, the altitude is 3,600 until established, still clear for the ILS. Yeah, sorry about that. 3,600 until established. Thank you very much. Just cleared out of us. 2-4 approach. 2-4. November 284 Golf Bravo. Contact SoCal approach 119.6. Contact SoCal approach 119.6. For Golf Bravo. And I just want to see something here. Let's just see if... Let's just see if Navigator 2 is actually going to go ahead and grab the Fillmore VOR, and then that means my ADF is actually powered on. So we're just going to put uh, Fillmore in here, which is actually FIM, Foxtrot India Mike. Distance 42. All right, so okay, Tom 2 is, is working now as far as... Uh, our DME and our uh, navigator goes. Call approach information. Whiskey is current. Altimeter two nine or nine or eight. Whiskey is current. Two nine or nine or eight. At that airport. Uh, Fort Ross Bravo. And we do have information. Whiskey. November eight two four Delta Pop contact Palomar Tower one one eight point six. For the Palomar Tower one eight point six. Thank you much. Two Papa. I guess we're still on the VFR flight following, aren't we? So now I wonder if we're on VFR flight following still. We need to cancel our flight following before we request uh, going back to um, Santa Barbara.
Yeah, we out of the we are out of the Charlie, so I guess we can't go ahead and cancel flight. Yeah, quick call approach. Cody, I three four zero Papa Alpha. I got disconnected uh, from the network. I'm back on again, and I do have information whiskey over there, at San Diego. Roger. Santa Barbara departure of Skyhawk 833 Fox Trail, bus cancel flight following. Alright, 033 Fox Trail, service terminated. Score VFR frequency change approved. VFR frequency change approved, 833 Fox Trail. Let's uh, re-grab our ATIS real quick, which at Santa Barbara was 132.65. Act clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Sierra. Sierra is now current. Santa Barbara Municipal Airport. ATIS information, Sierra. 2353 Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Sierra. All right, Sierra is current. Santa Barbara Mutant. Well, I'm gonna, we're, we're about 16 miles out of Santa Barbara. I'm going to fly us for about another five miles. That puts us about 20 miles, 21 miles out, at which point in time I'll go ahead and 180 us around. Recontact approach for a landing clearance back at Santa Barbara. I'm going to try it all over again. Um, but back to a West Chest question. Traditionally, Pilot Edge was, wasn't be for me because they were only on the West Coast. Um, however, I was I really wanted to do this adventure. A uh, friend of mine uh, gave me a, um, a month subscription, so between that and the uh, free trial, um, been trying to knock out as many of these cat readings as I can, and took advantage of uh, the, the ascent adventure, which was absolutely uh, phenomenal. I had a whole lot of fun. Um, um, and then with. Uh, but then they expanded with that Western expansion pack, so it kind of piqued my interest a little bit more. Um, and, and, and there's, there's between Pilot Edge and Rats, and there are pros. If it, pros and, what do you say, pros and cons of each? They, they each have their benefits. I, I don't even want to say they're their cons. They just each have their benefits. Yes. Yeah, we, we definitely put a lot of a lot of time on the uh, on the old bird this past weekend, that's for sure. A little bit of cloud coming up here on our right. We'll try and put that keep that off to our right. Santa Cruz Ranch.
Alright, we are about 20 miles southeast. Still on approach. Uh, departure one two five point four. Yeah. Santa Barbara approach. November eight zero three three Foxtrot. Low altitude alert. November seven three nine Whiskey Foxtrot. Advise you climb immediately. The MVA in your area is eight thousand. Can you can you turn left heading three zero zero November nine Whiskey Foxtrot? Heading left 3009 Whiskey Fox. We're not our Whiskey Fox Trout. Where are you direct to right now? Not our direct to the uh, Paradise VOR. Well, that's not what the tech route is. You should be on Victor 363, right? I thought so. That's you almost issues. ran yourself into a mountain Get there. Written. Are you able to go, I guess just, just fly the heading for now and expect a vector to, to the airport for now. But uh, just make sure you double, double check the routing next time so you don't fly yourself into a mountain. Roger that. One, two, five point four. Santa Barbara approach, November 833 Foxtrot. Or is your 33 Foxtrot? Uh, type 172, slam golf, 2,000 feet, about 20 miles southeast of Santa Barbara to land here on board. Or is your 33 Foxtrot, squawk 5543? 5543, 3 Foxtrot. Whiskey Fox, there should be clear terrain now. You can go direct to Riverside Airport, contact SoCal Approach 135.4. Direct to Riverside, contact uh, SoCal Approach on 135.4. Raise 033 Fox, register radar contact, 20 miles southeast of Santa Barbara. I think you had Sierra, thanks. Yeah, I did say Sierra. I do have Sierra. Pretty sure I said it. Yes. So no. Calipro, no, 739 Whiskey Fox, 6,000, or 6,100, direct to uh, Riverside. 739 Whiskey Fox, so Calipro, Roger, Alpha current advice, and you have it. Alright, so I still have my airport diagram up on here. And then let's go ahead and get tower back on standby, which it is, because it didn't get too far, far enough to change anything yet. Again, on the pilot edge question, I, I have enjoyed it uh, um, thoroughly so far. KW for life, welcome aboard, welcome back. We failed our first attempt at our Cat 8. 
we're going for our second attempt at our Cat 8. We're going to land back at Santa Barbara and hopefully uh, do it again um, properly. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing to have ever been distracted enough to miss the runway heading instruction. Whiskey Fox has Oscar. But I was obviously doing something to be distracted enough. 739 or Whiskey Fox or Roger. Uh, Alpha is being the Alpha. right now. Do you have Alpha? Instruction. And our first shelf is 1,500, 4,000 feet. We are in contact with approach. Um, We're using custom weather or? Stand by. Two eight four Golf Bravo contact Limburg Tower one one eight point three. Lindbergh Tower, 118.3, Fort uh, Bravo. Right, zero three three five. Your contact Santa Barbara Tower, 119.7. Santa Barbara Tower, 119.7, 8033 Fox. Lindbergh Tower, uh, Beechcraft, November 284, Golf Bravo is, um, we are about, about 10 miles to the north with uh, information whiskey inbound for runway 27. November 284, Golf Bravo, Lindbergh Tower, Crim to San Diego, Class Bravo, Airspace, report midfield right down one runway 27. Cross midfield to the downwind for runway 27, for Golf Bravo. Santa Barbara Tower, Cessna 8033, Foxtrot. 12 and a half miles southeast to land Sierra on board 2,000 feet. November 8033, talk shot Santa Barbara Tower, report midfield right downwind, runway 25. Report midfield right downwind, runway 25. 8033, talk shot. Montgomery Current, with those two is five banner six to Lake Delta, IFR to Long Beach, ready to copy. All right, let's get up a little bit here. Do you have the field in sight? Uh, Midfield, right downwind, runway 25. So, not only did I turn on course, if it's right traffic, then I turned the wrong way as well. But I do have the field in sight. I do see the beacon. Kind of getting tossed over the water here. And Papa Darks, number 130 Telex, we're holding short 24 Alpha, ready to go. Departure north. Number 130 Telex, Ray, Palomar Tower, northbound departure approved, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff and uh, no sound of fire, probably take a bunch, 1300, okay. Uh, come right, clearance delivery, service 596 or 8 Delta, IFR to Long Beach, ready to copy. Uh -oh. Zero radar vectors, ocean side, then a filed. Maintain 3,000, expect 6,000, one zero minutes after departure. I don't know, we got, a, we got an alternator light. Three, three, seven, five. 
Cycling the alternator switch. Enter the left base runway 25 and runway 25 to land. Alright, we're charging again. Lindbergh Tower 340 Papa Alpha request Bravo clearance for full stop landing at Lindbergh. Information whiskey. November 340 Papa Alpha Lindbergh Tower quit the San Diego Class Bravo airspace. Report midfield right downwind runway 27. Cleared in the Class Bravo airspace and report midfield right downwind for runway 27340 Papa Alpha. November 8033 Foxtrot, amend the entry, enter the left of base runway 25 for runway 25, clear to land. Enter the left base for runway 25, clear to land, 8033 Foxtrot. November 284 Golf Bravo, I didn't ask you to overfly the field. Instruction was for the right downwind. Enter the left downwind now, runway 27, runway 27, clear to land. Enter the left base. Left downwind now. Runway 27. Well, you're turning northbound again, so uh, just go back to the right downwind. I don't need you flying over the runway like that. Number 284 Golf Bravo, right downwind, runway 27, runway 27, clear to land. All right. All right, so we're going to enter a left base for runway 25. All right. Runway 27, clear to land. I'm already on the right side again, so I'm going to make a left downwind for uh, runway 27. Sorry about that. All right, so let's make a left base. And we're still five miles out though. We're not gonna enter. We're not gonna be on a five mile final. Let's follow the coast up a bit closer. Ground to us five nine six Charlie Delta uh, transient parking and ready for taxi with information Romeo. November five nine six Charlie Delta Montgomery Ground runway two eight right taxi via Hotel Alpha. Two eight right via Hotel Alpha for six Charlie Delta. Tower 340 Papa Alpha is right midfield downwind for runway 27. I'll, I'll just call it like I would a backwards 45 then. November 340 Papa Alpha runway 27 land. So clear to land. Clear to land runway 27 340 Papa Alpha. November 284 Golf Bravo uh, exit right and taxi to parking via Charlie Monitor Ground. Alright, that's what we'll do. Parking Charlie Monitor Ground 284 Golf Bravo. Number 8033 Fox, I just want to make sure you're aligned for the correct runway. Looks like you're south of the runway 25. Uh, I have the field in sight. I, I thought you said enter on a left base for runway 25. Okay, I, I didn't know how close you were going to enter, but that's fine if you've got the field. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm entering on a 45 for, for joining a left base right now. 8033 Fox, Okay, that's fine. Maybe I should have grabbed it way back there. Let's just drop this little baby down in there. Riverside Tower, Cessna 739, Whiskey Fox, inbound on the runway 27. November 739 Whiskey Fox Trot. Just throw Riverside out of the lap Why not? Clear to land. Cessna 739 Whiskey Fox. That's where I'm at. Number 9 Whiskey Fox Trot. Runway 27. Let's get a more square final. Runway 27. Clear to land. 9 Whiskey Fox. 
We don't want to get to an accelerated stall either. 6.5 miles south of your position, requesting full stop landing for a uh, medical transfer. Coast Guard 6-4, Santa Barbara Tower, enter the left base for runway 35, hey, runway 25, clear to land number 2. Clear to land number 2, runway 25, left base, Coast Guard 6 On the glide slope. The number 340, Papa Alpha, thanks for parking via Charlie, monitor ground. Oh, and via Charlie, we'll monitor ground for 340 Papa Alpha. Las Vegas Tower, November 75190. Alright. November 75190. Oh, we just came in on runway 25. We've departed on runway 25. And Las Vegas Tower, November 75190. Exit to the right here for runway 25. Miles to the northwest, circling over Creech Air Force Base. Uh, we like to uh, get the uh, RNAV uh, GPS runway 12 right, and we still have information Quebec. November 75190. Are you doing a, do you want radar services for a practice approach or are you just requesting it from the, from the tower? I'm not sure what your request is. Uh, we were looking for a practice approach into, um, uh, for the RNAV 1-2 uh, right. Rather than contact Las Vegas approach for that, I can't help you out with that. November 8033 Foxtrot, uh, you can't exit onto a runway unless the ATC tells you to. Continue down runway 15 right, exit all the way down at the end on Charlie. Hold short runway 15 left. Uh, 15 right to Charlie, hold short 15 left, 8033 Fox right. I guess I did exit onto a runway. Well, gee. Riverside Tower, so that's the 7-3-9. Man, I'm just messing all the switches up tonight. 7 3 9 Whiskey Fox, front taxi to parking via Alpha, remain this frequency. Parking via Alpha, so yep, that's 7 3 Yep, sure did. Fox. Taxied right onto the runway. Number 8033 Fox, front, cross runway 15 left, monitor ground, taxi to parking via Charlie. Cross 15 left, monitor ground, uh, taxi to parking via Charlie, number 8033 Fox, front. 121.7. Alright. Um. Yep, we're gonna do it again. this whole thing over again from the top. Santa Barbara Tower, Coast Guard 6-4 on the ground, requesting taxi to parking. Coast Guard 6-4, taxi to parking via Bravo, Charlie, monitor the ground. Alright, parking Taxi to on. parking via Bravo, Charlie, monitor the ground, Coast Guard 6-4. I need to wind this clock back just a little bit. We'll just go 
I see with a manual with it that I can just wind the sun down, advance the time. Alright, parking brakes on. I'm gonna take a two minute break and I will be right back and find a new flight plan. We're gonna try this Cat 8 all over again. And hope that, tower, sir, hope that I don't uh, That's a holding short uh, two eight right. Hope that I don't mess it up. We only get two shots per day. This will be a second one. November five nine six Charlie Delta Montgomery Tower and right two eight right clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff and two eight right for six right Delta. Number 596, Charlie Delta, contact departure. Departure 6, Charlie Delta. Sorry about that short break. Had to go and pay some landing fees real quick. Kind of outrageous here, if you ask me. Then again, landing fees seem to be outrageous everywhere nowadays. <laughs> How are we on for fuel? We still have a decent amount of fuel. This were a real aircraft, I would get out and visually check the fuel level in the wings. Um, but we do have, you know, well past uh, 20 gallons of fuel in each wing. A bit over 20 gallons, I won't say well past, but a bit over 20 gallons of fuel. Uh, we do have plenty of fuel to get us there um, with all of us on board, so don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and fly out a new VFR flight plan. They totally bombed the first one. Alright, we are VFR. Again, we're in the 172. We have a November model. Nope, that's not what we need to put there. That's what we need to put there. 172, slant golf. There it is, true airspeed. 110. And departure location, you know, Sierra Bravo Alpha. Is that right? Yeah. To Burbank. Cruising altitude, 7500. Uh, we're not going to worry about an alternate. The VFR, Fillmore. And remarks, we're just going to put thank you. And then I'm going to do a pilot at your rating flight. One more rating for today. So, cat eight, final flight plan. Alright, November 033 Foxtrot. That does confirm what our call sign. Let's do it all over again. Uh, we don't have to worry about doing a run or anything. We're just going to go ahead and kind of expedite it. We will.
will contact actually we won't we will squawk very far and then we will listen to Ada's and just make sure nothing's changed. Five right, one five left. Visual approaches in use. The FR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact you have information Gera. Sierra is still coming, it seems. Santa Barbara Municipal Airport. Eight is information Sierra. Two three five three Zulu. Wind two three zero at seven. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature two two. Dew point one six. Altimeter two nine nine five. Arriving and departing runways two five one five right one five left. Visual approaches in use. The FR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Sierra. All right, Sierra. Okay, uh, clearance delivery is 132.9er. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and get ground and standby on 21.7, which it is. Um, we'll put tower in later. Okay. One three two point nine or one three two point nine or Santa Barbara clearance delivery, November eight zero three three Fox Shot. November eight zero three three Fox Shot. Uh, over here, just off ramp, Charlie, uh, looking for the Cat 8, uh, VFR departing 090 degrees, direct to Burbank, cruise altitude 7500, type 172, slant gulf, got Sierra on board, and we're looking for flight following. The Ray 033 Foxtrot, Santa Barbara clearance on departure, flight runway heading, maintain VFR at below 3000, departure frequency 120.55, squawk 5632. Runway heading at a below 3000, departures 125.55, squawk 5632, November 8033 Foxtrot. November 8033 Foxtrot, departure frequency 120.55. Departure frequency 120.55, November 8033 Foxtrot. November 8033 Foxtrot, is that correct? That's what I wrote down. Maybe that's not what I said. That is what I wrote down. Squawk 5632. Now I already know. Tower, well, previously, so I can just go ahead and contact the, uh, ground. Arnav, one to right with information, Romeo. November 75190, North Las Vegas Tower, runway 1 2 right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 1 2 right, 75190. And let me go ahead and get tower on standby now. 119.7. We are to fly runway heading. Which we won't know exactly which runway until the ground tells us. We're going to assume 25. We're going to put our heading bug at 25. And if our departing runway changes, then we'll change our heading bug there. And I know that I've got winds out of 230. Santa Barbara Ground, Cessna, November 8033, Foxtrot, ready to taxi with clearance. 8033, Foxtrot, Santa Barbara Ground, runway 25, taxi via Juliet. Runway 25 via Juliet, November 8033, Foxtrot. Alright, so we got the same instructions as we did previously. We're about in the same location, so we know that we're just going to have to go on the other side of the helicopter parking which is just off to our right, proceed down Juliet, and that puts us right at the runway 25 threshold. So we'll break off, our flaps are up. Our landing light is still on. Uh, we are still charging. 
I am going to have to then take my switch panel down and repair some of the circuitry behind it. At some point, I will do that. But for now, if it does kind of short out on me again, I went ahead and put a key bind in on the keyboard to turn the, uh, the uh, alternator back on. So the tower was 121, no, 119 point seven, which we have on standby. Let's go ahead and get that active. Delivery. This is Coast Guard 6-4, sitting on the south ramp, or no, uh, correction, north ramp. I am going on to be by. returning to Point uh, Magoo uh, Coast Guard ramp, uh, flying at 2,500, uh, heading... Uh, Kiwi, please, you are five. not late. In fact, you are just in uh, time for our second attempt at the Cat 8 rating. We totally bombed our first attempt. Glad you weren't here to watch it. Actually, I take that back. Really, I, I made a whole bunch of mistakes. Out of below 1,500. Departure frequency. No, you are not late. You are just in time. Squawk 36. We're, we're going to pass it this time. All right. Uh, so we're going to fly runway heading 250 and a little 2,000 feet. Coast Guard 64, Squawk 3664. Outstanding. I'm glad that you were, uh, that uh, you had a, a first, uh, your first flight on VAT sim was good. Um, and that's really good to hear. Alright, so let's go ahead and get yeah, into the tower so he doesn't uh, know why we're just kind of sitting here. And maintain uh, VFR at or below uh, 1500 feet. Let's go ahead and Departure wave to the tower over there. Departure from 0 0.55, squawk code 3664, Coast Guard 64. Coast Guard 64, back here up. Santa Barbara Tower, November 8033, Foxtrot, runway 25, ready. One hundred point seven. Runway zero three three Foxtrot Santa Barbara Tower runway two five clear for takeoff. Runway two five clear for takeoff November eight zero three three Foxtrot. Strobe's going on. Here's center line. Runway heading. Here we go. Full power. Right rudder. Airspeed's coming alive. Let's rotate. We do have positive climb rate. Everything is in the green. We do have some runway left, but I am calling it to go. Santa Barbara Ground Coast Guard 64 helicopter. I have information here and requesting taxi to active runway for departure to Point McGill. Coast Guard 64 Ground Ray Park. I am on the north ramp uh, right at uh, the intersection of taxiways Bravo and Charlie. Coast Guard 64, runway 15 left, taxi via Charlie. Runway 15 left, taxi via Charlie, Coast Guard 64. November 8033, Fox Shot, radar contact, contact departure. Over to departure, November 8033, Fox Shot. 
Six Air Delta. Santa Barbara departure, November 803, Pay Fox Shot, 1500. Bridge 0335, Santa Barbara departure, hello, resume O navigation and altitude. Resume O navigation and altitude, November 8033, Fox Shot, thank you. Alright. Echo Afternoon Airport 6 Papa, November 13, Delta X ray with you, level 6500. So, runway 25 was left traffic, okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make so uh, approach the Camarillo altimeter 29094. I own that and altitude. So we are clear to get out of runway heading now. Own navigation. So that's on us. So let's make our crosswind. Expect runway 30 and clear direct to Long Beach Airport. Sorry, that we do have hotel at Long Beach and uh, we're not familiar with the area. I'd like to fly the uh, RNAV for 30 from MIDS if that's okay. Alright, so we do have our crosswind. Clear direct mids, cross mids at 4,000, clear to RNAV my 3 zero approach. Which we're on now, and we'll continue climbing up. Mids, uh, cross mids at 4,000, and clear to RNAV 3 zero approach, Long Beach, 6 right up. And we'll make a downwind to we're kind of southwest of the airport, and then we'll proceed east. Question asked for some benefits and differences between Power Edge and Ratsim. I, I, I will be forthcoming and say that I've been flying on Ratsim for almost 10 years. I've been flying on Power Edge for a few weeks now. Um, primary differences that I notice is the, well, obviously the coverage area. Um, Ratsim or Power Edge coverage is primarily in the Western United States, which is kind of surprising considering they're headquartered in the Eastern U.S. I always kind of found that weird. Um, but LA is a very busy area, so I can kind of see why why they'd want to cater towards that area anyway. Um, uh, I, they both have their pros and cons. I, 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 I can say that much. I don't pay anything for that set. I don't. It doesn't cost me anything. You know, everybody volunteers their time to do that, and I think that is outstanding. That they put they do a great service, you know, and, and, and a lot of the training, I'm sure, is, is pretty much identical. Um, but I can't say that for certain because I'm not an ATC, you know, haven't seen any of the training material. But I imagine that a lot of the training is, is relatively identical. All right, let's go ahead and make a uh, kind of a downwind turn. Um, the advantage for me, I, I will say, as a student pilot, and eventually with the hopes of finishing and getting my PPL, is that I can go through on my core flight, my FAA diagram, yeah, my my F, my my VFR chart here, and I can see all of these frequencies here. Contact tower for Santa Barbara, one one nine point seven. Um, um, for me, what sold me is that I can go and I can look at my VFR chart and I can dial up that frequency and I can key up and I can reach somebody on that real world frequency that I'm looking at on my real world VFR chart. From what I can tell, you could have one controller that that's monitoring and working several different frequencies at once. And the only reason I can tell that is that because I've contacted multiple stations and I feel like I've heard the same person. However, they're talking to me like they've never talked to me before. So that much I can understand. Center Barbara Departure. Uh, this is. Coast Guard, There's a caveat to all of this real world frequencies and, and guaranteed coverage, you know, 15 hours Hello. a day, is that it, it does come with a cost. Um, I'm supposed to be on departure frequency, is this the uh, correct frequency? This is what I wrote down, I was told read back correct. 
Coast Guard 64, Santa Barbara departure affirmative. This is the correct frequency. Hello. Yes, I am with you at, uh, I'm supposed to be at uh, 1,500 below, descending 1,500. Coast Guard 64, you can resume on navigation and altitude. Roger, resume on uh, navigation and altitude. Coast Guard 64. So what was I just going to say? Uh, other thing I just learned over the weekend, um, after Oshkosh, there were, there were some times I turned into the Francisco approach expecting to have a, a clearing, and then I just rounded out and I would see aircraft. What I did find out about the most recent pilot edge plug-in is that only 19 uh, TCAS, um, that's your traffic collision avoidance system, only 19 targets are shown the port flight display. I don't know exactly what the limitation is there. Yeah, so that's kind of why I didn't see any any aircraft on my NDSB when there were certainly some that I could see visually. So. We're going to climb out about another 2,200 feet. And that'll put us on our cruise altitude of 7,500 feet. We are going to have a... going to be a, a bit of a wind that's going to push us as we uh, head east there. I wrote everything down but the frequency of that film wherever you are. 112.5. So call departure TBM 4625 Golf is level 3000. 4625 Golf, so call departure, enter contact. Clear direct the Palomar Airport. Columbo made say 4000. Do you have an approach request? Uh, we'd like to request the ILS runway 24 for 25 Golf. For 25 Golf, Roger, expect that. Roger, and uh, we're clear direct Palomar Airport, TBM 25 Golf. And climb maintain 4000. And climb maintain 4000, TBM 25 Golf, thank you. All 
All right, where are we at? 7,200, 300 more feet to go until we get to our cruise altitude. So nice to have Navigator 2 working now. So this blue line is going to put me on the uh, 087 radio towards the Fillmore VOR. Uh, what I did is I just put 087 into my uh, VOR 80, NAV 1, the VOR 1, NAV 1, CDI. No, oh, is that the CDI? Course deviation indicator. I guess that would be your CDI. So I just put the 087 radial in there, so when I am in line with that radial, that blue line, theoretically, I'm assuming that this needle STBM 25 Golf has information delta. will swing Roger. and grab it to which point I would turn 087 degrees and be on an intercept course with the VOR. I think. I think that's how all that works. If it doesn't work like that, we're going to make it work like that. Let's get back down to 7,500 or 7,700. We must be trimmed up just slightly. Golf flighting 070 vector to final. Flighting 070 vectors to final to the M25 Golf. Alright, so it does look like this needle is getting a little bit closer to that vertical line as we get closer to that intercepting radial. Six correction number five nine or six Charlie Delta Contact Long Beach Tower one one nine or point four. One nine point four six Charlie Delta. Clipper eight zero three three Fox Shot Contact Point McGew Approach one two four point seven. Point McGew Approach one two four point seven November eight zero three three Fox Shot. like you approach. Point like you approach, November 8033, shot 7,500. Or 033, Fox, your point like you approach, the camera AOL altimeter 29902. 9 or 9 or 2, 3 
Alright, so I think that theory is working out, because this needle's getting more and more vertical. So when the, the left and right needle is on top of the vertical needle, that means that I'm on the line. And then when I'm on the line, I can set my heading indicate, turn my heading to where the heading for the line is pointing, and then that should take me to the VOR. So, Kiwi Blaze, just to answer your question, that, that to me that's been the primary benefit, is just having all of that real world frequencies at the fingertips and just being able to dial it up and reach somebody. A lot of times on that sim, um, what, what I look at on my horror flight is not necessarily uh, the frequency that X-Pilot is going to provide you for the controller in that given area or that given tower. I, I will say most of the time, it is tower and ground seem to correspond. A lot of times approach and center frequencies, especially when you have multiples, can be confusing. Especially when there's five or six centers online. Um, there's no way to differentiate which center you need to reach out to if they're all in the same ARTCC. kind of steer us clear from this mountain ridge just a little bit before we pick up that radio again. Uh, 57 miles out from Burbank. 29 miles from our Fillmore VOR. And then because I did fail my initial Cat 8, I'm not going to have time to do the Cat 9. Unfortunately. So this will be our last stop once we land at Burbank. This is our second try, Melbourne, for a Cat 8. Welcome back. Um, it's going pretty good. Uh, we're about a third, about a third of the way to Burbank, outside of uh, Santa Barbara. I was trying to teach myself about radials and VOR. I put my Fillmore VOR here in our uh, CDI. If it were 25 Golf, turn left heading 310. I put this blue line heading 310 to BM25 Golf. 087 degrees, I put that heading here. So my theory, if I understand how all of that works, is that once I get to that blue line and my my CDI should essentially be vertical. And then I turn that heading, and then I should, as long as I can track that, it should take me directly to the Fillmore VOR. Then from there, just a hop, skip, and jump to uh, Burbank. November 4625, Golf is 5 miles from Mescon, fly heading 270, descent of maintain 3600 until established on a localizer, could I less for my 24 approach? Fly heading 270, yep, descent of maintain 3600 until established on the localizer, clear for the ILS, runway 24 87 radio to the Fillmore VOR. And then once I get there, we'll grab 087. Works just like intercepting an ILS. Um, 
That is correct. I can set the CDI. It's going to be centered on the needle. Um, and that will get me direct to the VOR. The reason why I'm going up and picking this radio and because I honestly don't know. When I, when I was going direct from Santa Barbara to Burbank, my direct line put me right in the middle of this white box here, which had a SoCal approach frequency. And this white box here, which also had a SoCal approach frequency. So being in the middle, I honestly had no idea which one I should contact. So to save myself some embarrassment, I put myself on a northern course so that I'm closer to this, this white box and hope that I can contact SoCal approach on 120.4 and be accurate. That's, that's the only reason why I'm flying north as opposed to direct to the VOR. Because logic tells me that if I'm on this northern blue line, then I can contact this approach center there. Usually pretty friendly, and they'll tell me if I'm on the, on the wrong frequency. That's good to know. That's good to know. So yeah, from here, if I just turn that a couple degrees, it'll straighten us right up. That puts us. We're, we're pretty much on the on the heading for it anyway. Uh, at this point, as long as I maintain this heading, it should take it'll take us right there. Uh, as long as I maintain this course, I don't want to say this heading. This course. My understanding is that all of these KC numbers, those are all drones that are in the air. Gonna answer some traffic, I guess. No drones were required at Sim Venture, that's for sure. TBM 25 Golf is Sid Roof. 25 Golf, thanks. Contact the tower on 118.67. Good night. Uh, tower on 18.6 to BM25 Golf. See ya. Certification standards when you're within 200 feet of your assigned altitude. That's probably correct. Uh, I think for your instrument reading, it's, they want you within 50 feet or something. So 200 feet. Yeah, I, I can see that. I kind of kicked myself in the butt if I went at 100 feet, but unfortunately by the time I realize it, it's too late, and I'm well past that anyway. Just, uh, I 
The other thing is the cockpit is relatively cluttered too. I try, try to streamline everything, but I want to downsize the iPad to get an iPad mini and a yoke mount so I can keep that up here so I don't have to keep it in my hands or on the seat. And then I find something for my mobile phone so that I can keep an eye on the chat as opposed to keeping that here on my, uh, on the knee pad. Bush Outfitters, welcome and thanks for the follow. Joining us, we are on our Cat 8 rating on the Pilot Ed Network, uh, Santa Barbara to Burbank. About 40 miles outside of Burbank right now, cruising along 7,500 feet, making a ground speed of 92, indicating 80. We are getting a push from that westerly wind. And we are deviating from our course as well, it would seem. You thought this was a YouTube video. Oh. Aren't you on Twitch right now? Uh, I do have a YouTube channel. I don't know if it linked you here somehow. But, yeah, this is live. Really flying. Welcome. Why haven't I ever seen you on Twitch? Um, I don't know, maybe I'm new. I've only been on Twitch for maybe two months, two or three months. Well, I would appreciate it. I'd love to have you back on here, Bush Outfitters. More the merrier. Flying's fun. Flying's more fun when it's more than one. Question words is just explain. Yes, this is explain. Um, explain supports multiple view windows, which is what I need to make this thing come to life. Um, rumor has it, I can't confirm any of this right now, but rumor has it that Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is prototyping their multi rendering or multi view. But I'm not. But I, but I haven't confirmed any of that. Dreamman says, "My real life flight yesterday. He apparently used the wrong frequency to call up NorCal. Uh, the controller is finally with uh, too far from my frequency, but stick with me. And here's the squat crew. Okay, well that's good to know." Bush Outfitter says he's seen the patch notes. I can only assume that has to do with the uh, Flight Simulator 2020 and multi windows we were just talking about. Maybe. And yeah, getting away, of course, now. Um, so yeah, 
this is X-Plane 11. Head of our bird approach, 2755 Julia. I don't know if I want to try multi-window flight simulator 2020 until it's released as a stable. Um, I think right now it's still under experimental. Head of our approach, 45522. What's your craft type? 5522, and we're a twin Cessna Charlie. Uh, 7.3 miles from the Fillmore VOR. We got way off course there, so. We're hitting east and east. Advisor, so to Julia Ritter, contact 12 miles north of Santa Barbara information. Tango current altimeter 2993. You want the overhead for 25? 2993, and uh, we'd like one of the 15s if able for 77 Juliet. So, so Julie Rod, you can expect that. All right, 33 miles out of Burbank, six miles from the Fillmore VOR, cruising along. A little bit higher than I want to be. Buzz 077, Julia Pattern, now she is 1,000. 7,500 feet. Current support initial for runway 15 left. Alright, we're coming to the right of the VOR now. The closer we get to the VOR, the harder it's going to be for us to keep track of. 3033 Foxtrot contact, SoCal approach 134.2. SoCal approach 134.2, November 8033 Foxtrot, thank you. So count kind of approach one three four point two. One three four point two. Repose your seven seven Juliet. That's uh, what he told me. One three four point two point seven when you're at the initial. Which is really surprising because it's when we're at the south of over, this uh, blue uh, line. And I was expecting to contact one two zero point four. Nevertheless, we're gonna contact who we're told to contact. So Cal approach, November 8033 Fox, about 7,500. Marine 033 Fox, so Cal kind of approach, low information, alpha current altimeter 2993. 993, November 8033 Fox, I'm wondering if we can actually get a visual on this VOR. Clouds are really an FPS killer for me. Oh, where are we at? 24, 25. 25, we'll be alright. As long as, we're over, as long as we stay over 20, we'll be good. way off course of the VOR, but again, we're pretty north of it, kind of north of it right now. Alright. It's going to be kind of difficult guys to see, but I'm going to try and dip this wing in. There's the VOR right there. I'm 
Alright. Let's get to Burbank. 27 miles. Alright. GPS, course zero niner niner. We're about 26 miles out, still a little bit low. Let's get back up there, 7,500. off to, uh, well, we're already on an approach, we're already with approach, um, so I imagine he's just going to hand us off directly to a uh, tower, so let's get Burbank Adis on standby, 34.5. Alright, let's on standby. Let's see if we can grab it even yet. Clear. Temperature 32. Maybe. 2.13. Altimeter 29 or 9 or 3. Arriving and departing runways 8, 1, 5. Visual approaches in use. Land and hold short operations in effect for non-turbojet aircraft landing runway 1, 5. 4,250 feet available. VFR departures contact clearance delivery. Advise on course heading, altitude, and if flight following is requested. Read back runway assignments and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information alpha. Alpha, but is that for our airport? Let's make sure. Burbank Glendale, Pasadena Airport. Yep. Eight is information alpha. Zero zero five three Zulu. Wind one four zero at one zero. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature 32, 2.13, altimeter 29 or 9 or 3, arriving and departing runways 8, 1, 5, visual approaches in use, land and hold short operations in effect for non-turbojet aircraft landing runway 1, 5, 4,250 feet available, VFR departures contact clearance to live on the approach, advise on heading, runway and if flight following is requested. Alright, Alpha is current at Burbank. Good to know, that's kind of what I was thinking, since I have flight following and they know where I'm going, I imagine they're going to hand me off to the appropriate um, towers, or, you know, controllers when necessary, that's, that is kind of one benefit. Um, We are 19 miles out. Let's go ahead and initiate a uh, descent down to about 5,500. Let's go ahead and turn our carpet on. Mixture's full rich. Power back. Pumps full on. Full uh, in. Barbara 
approach, twin Cessna 5077 Juliet. We're going to be going to Oxnard next, with like flight following up about 1,500. Burbank has a road. digital ATIS. That is correct. Alpha is current at Burbank, and I will let Tower know when I contact him. So that first shelf looks like it's going to be about 3,000 feet to 4,800. And then surface to 4,800 inside the uh, second ring there. 6,000 feet. Get down to about 5,500 here. Actually, I'll probably only get down even lower than that. We're 15 miles out. Let's go 3,500. I just want to trim for this descent. Ground speed right now, 72, indicating 64. Descending about 700 feet per minute. Ridge 033 Fox, your contact, Burbank Tower 118.7. Burbank Tower 118.7, 8033 Fox, right. 118.7. Burbank Tower, Cessna 8033 Foxtrot, 4500 to land with Alpha. Oh, oh, didn't make that change yet. Burbank Tower, Cessna November 8033 Foxtrot, uh, 4500 to land with Alpha. Alright, 033 Foxtrot, Burbank Tower, make sure you didn't run away 8, run away 8, clear to land. Straight in, runway 8, cleared land, Cessna 8033, Fox shot. So, straight in, runway 8. Okay, that's going to be our east-west runway there. Alright, so it's not going to be the big one here. So the big white line's not going to be it. Looks like it's going to be... Camry of ground, Cessna 716, Camry of Kilo at Gulf 3. With Bravo, I'd like to taxi for takeoff of the FR East departure. Right. 716 Romeo Kilo, Camarillo Grand, runway 26, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. So we're going to keep this other airport. Alpha. 716 Romeo Kilo. To our south. And I'm going to make sure. 
make sure that I'm above there. Oxnard Tower, contestant 5077 Juliet's 10 miles. Oh, that's very west. nice. With hotel and down first single touch and go and departure to the southeast. Five zero seven seven zero. Busiest, busiest GA airport in the world, apparently. Hotel current. Right down went for two five. We'll go over five zero seven seven Juliet. So they had to make straight in. Belmar Tower, QBM four six two five Golf, holding short runway two four. Four six two five Golf, Belmar Tower, runway two four, clear for takeoff. Make straight in runway eight. Four QBM two five Golf. I want to even approach that from here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna. Keep Van Nuys to my uh, south, kind of go down in between the two of them, and then uh, be in a long final runway 8. Or I can overfly, I guess. I guess I can overfly Van Nuys, technically. But should I? Let's hang out here at 3,500. Elevation there at Bomb Hope, 778 feet. Bigger pattern, it's going to be 1,800. We'll need to lose about 1,800. Where are we at? Five golf contact departure. Uh, switching to departure TVM two five golf. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go straight in. If we maintain this altitude to where, um, if we stay south to where past, uh, or just south of the Van Nuys southbound departure corridor, and if we stay about 3,500, we should be clear of any departing traffic. At least that's my theory. Oxnard Tower, uh, correction, twin Cessna 77 Juliet, the field downwind. Enterprise 077 Juliet, runway 25, clear for the option, after the option, same intention. Clear for the option, runway 25, and be a part of Arch to the southeast, 77 Juliet. Or 77 Juliet, after the option, southeast bound departure approved. 77 Juliet, roger. Direct to Burbank at this point. Alright. I guess I'll put this, which one's gonna put us directly over Van Nuys, but we are at 3,500, so it shouldn't be an issue. Yep. I guess it didn't need to be as far south as Van Nuys as I thought, because I do have runway, uh, you know, eight in sight. Which is what I wrote down here, runway eight.
so weird flying over Van Nuys like that. Alright, tower did clear me to land runway 8. Mile final. All right, that's a drone aircraft. Limerick Tower, good evening, TBM 4625 Gulf is seven miles north of uh, Mission Bay at 5000. We're flying the uh, Sweetwater Visual Runway 27 approach. All right, there's no runways for me to turn on to this time. Runway 27 clear to land, TBM 25 Gulf. After we touch down, we're just going to go ahead and exit to the right there. Alright, now we'll exit to the left because there's the FBO over there. Four mile final, zero eight. Almost down to pattern altitude. There we are. Still about two and a half miles out. Bit high in the glide slope. I think this would constitute about my 45-ish. Okay, well, give me a flat of 10. No displaced thresholds, so it looks like I can just touch down right there. Probably grab that second exit, Delta 7. I don't think we're going to make that first one, Delta 8. Camaro Towers, Cessna 716, Romeo Kilo, holding short 26 at Alpha. Flaps 2. To, to, for takeoff, uh, like a left downward departure to the east. 716, Romeo Kilo, Camaro Tower, runway 26, going for takeoff. 26, for takeoff. 716, Romeo Kilo. bit of a concrete wall here at the end of this threshold. Hard landing. Yep, did not have much of a flare on that one at all.
All right. Ground was one two three point nine. Let's get it out on standby. Burbank Tower, November eight zero three three Fox Trot, off runway zero eight, holding short Delta eight. Eight zero three three Fox Trot, be parking. And we'll just head up to the FBO if all possible. D two three three Fox Trot, Roger. You can taxi straight ahead to Atlantic. Remain this frequency now. Straight ahead to Atlantic. Remain with you. Eight zero three three Fox Trot. Delamar ground. November 401 Lima Mike is at Atlantic. Uh, I'd like to depart VFR to the north and have information Delta. 401 Lima Mike. Palomar Ground, runway 24, taxi via Alpha. Taxi via Alpha for to runway 241 Lima Mike. Here we are. All right, two, three, three, Fox Trot. It's a pass for the Cat Eight. Roger, pass for Cat Eight. Thank you, eight zero three three Fox Trot. There we go. All right, we passed our Cat Eight. We don't have time for our Cat Nine. We will have to do that another day, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and get things shut down here. Parking brake on. G5 going off. All the lights going off. Let's turn our avionics off. Mixture lean. Mags off. Mastered off. Gio, I appreciate that. Thanks for your help along the way. Um, greatly appreciated. Um, WestJet came in today. Thanks for tagging along. I'm Melvin, always a pleasure. Uh, Hawker125, pleasure. Great to see you as well. Um, Kiwi Place copped in, stopped in. Uh, Iowa Scotsman was here as well. Um, if I did miss anybody, I do apologize. Um, but if you are new here, please feel free to go ahead and follow us. You can catch the next one if you have come back to see me. As always, I do appreciate it. Um, appreciate everyone that takes time out of the day to come and fly with me. Flying is fun, but flying is always more fun when it's more than one. Chicken Honker, thanks for the follow. Um, and Aviator1996, uh, thanks uh, for coming along as well. And thanks for the... Uh, um, uh, future good luck. Hopefully the 9, 10, and 11 shouldn't be an issue. Um, Iowa Scotsman, thank you as well. KW for life. Always a pleasure, my friend. Um, so until the next time, uh, might be back up Thursday, or no, Wednesday, to join the VAT Sim for their VAT venture. It's going to be a, a, a different rendition um, of, of uh, Air Venture. Um, so yeah, you guys all take care and stay safe, and we will see you all next time. And again, thanks for tagging along, and the con and the congratulations. Um, so let's see who can we go and uh, go and say hi to today. Uh, let's head it over. Um, I'm gonna send you over to uh, BW Flight Simulation, who's doing some Oakland Center on Vat Sim, and we're gonna be going off flying to do watching some ATC. Uh, so you can tell him I said hello when you get there, and if you can do me a favor, and just go ahead and, if you can't stay for the stream, um, just give him some, some raid modes if you have them, um, show him some love. Alright, thank you all again, and we'll see you guys all later.